Good positive how's it going everybody got for you guys today a really really good showdown battle that I had I believe a week or two ago so make sure to stick around for this one guys cuz because it is very very good and of course if you do enjoy the video then make sure to hit the like button guys the support is greatly appreciated plus a like can always help a video get out to new people who may not know of the channel and before I get into team preview I don't exactly know when this will be going up but if you guys missed my update video I would really appreciate it if you guys want to go check that out which this might actually be uploaded the day after the update video but if it's not then check out my previous upload before this one just cuz I don't really know how things are gonna go after I record this so I'm just hoping for the best really but yeah, definitely check out the update video, and if there's another video before this, check that out, then come back to this one. So let's take a look at Team Preview. This, I believe, was like the second team I made when I just kind of started getting back into NU. As you can see, it is pretty bulky, although this team is very, very fun. It does have like two, three major weaknesses. For example, a Double Dance Rhydon can destroy this team. Uh, Dragon Dance for Ralligator, which apparently has become a thing, I don't know, I've seen that like three times, just utterly destroys this team as well. Among like Reggie Rock as well, because I don't really have any like reliable uh, rock stopping, like rock resistant Pokemon except Steelix, which then Earthquake from Rhydon, then sometimes uh, Reggie Rock carries Drain Punch and just yeah, so I just kind of stopped using this team, but it's still very fun. I mean, I know I do have Hariyama, but I mean, it's Hariyama. It's eventually going to get worn down or uh, knocked out, and then after that, the team kind of goes downhill. But my opponent is Alkez. I want to say, I'm going to say it's a he, because most people who play this game are guys, even though his sprite is a girl. I know people who are guys who use girl sprites, so it's just going to be he. And his team is actually very, very scary. Uh, he has two really, really great wall breakers in the form of Zangus and Sock. If Sock is choice banned, that, that is definitely going to be hitting like an absolute truck, so I really have to watch out for that. Zangus, if I lose my Miss Mages, could actually destroy my team after a Swords End, so have to be careful with that. Um, Electivire, honestly, was probably the biggest threat I saw, just because... It has such a diverse move pool and on depending if it's physical or special will determine how I will be able to deal with it and it's just an all around giant threat because it can punch holes through all of my team so I really have to watch out for that. Then he has Dragology which I'm thinking is probably going to be defensive looking at his team so I don't want to allow him to get up T-Spike so I have to keep Zatu and Garbodor around. If it is for some reason choice specs that could be a bit of a problem with the proper prediction so Definitely going to have to watch out for that. Uh, Vivian, as long as they keep Steelix around, Vivian should honestly not be a problem whatsoever. And then finally off he has Sand Slash, which it's a Sand Slash. I, I don't really know what else to say about it. I don't think it's going to be an issue. But yeah, with that being said, guys, um, let's get into the battle. So he's going to be leading off with Sand Slash as I'm going to be leading off with my, uh, with my Ms. Mages. Sorry about that. So right off the bat, I go for the taunt as he goes for the knockoff. So hopefully you didn't forget... How I said, well, this is a sand slash. This thing is not a problem. It's just gonna sit there, just take hits. It's not gonna be dealing damage. Oh boy, was I absolutely wrong? Because you're gonna see that this sand slash is a major, major pain in my side. And turn one, it went for Tom. Because I was like, okay, he may go for Stealth Rocks, thinking I won't switch directly into Zatut. But I forgot that Sand Slash typically carry knockoff because everything in this gen learns knockoff, let's be honest. Plus, it's a pretty nice coverage move for Sand Slash, so I stay in Gopher Taunt thinking, okay, he's gonna rocks. Oh boy, was I wrong. And because I need to keep Miss Mages to keep a Zangus in check because I do have foul play on this Miss Mages, it's a defensive Miss Mages that I've been trying out that's really, really fun. I do enjoy it. I should have just either gone for the Shadow Ball or just gone for the Will-O-Wisp and this Sand Slash would have no longer been a problem whatsoever. So after knockoffing, I believe I just stay in and go for the Will-O-Wisp thinking that he is going to want to switch out. As he does switch into the Dragology, I'm going to stay in just hoping that he doesn't go for later T-Spikes. Uh, no, sorry, I guess it's later. My bad, my bad, my fault, my fault. I switch into my Zatu as he Sludge Bombs, knowing that I have to keep his mages around. Sorry about that, guys. 
I did watch this battle twice and that still escaped my mind. So I go for the calm mine after he sludge bombs and it turns out that he has Draco Meteor which I'm going to be able to live thanks to the calm mine and judging from that damage I'm definitely thinking this thing is max special attack and seeing that he has no block sludge or leftovers he most likely is going to be assault bested just because Dragology don't typically carry Draco Meteor unless they are either Spexed or Assault Vest. So he Dragon Tails me into my Audino as I believe I switch onto my Zatu as he brings in the Sand Slash. I then just go for the Psy Shock, just gauging to see how much damage it would do. Does about 18%, which isn't too bad, but I'm going to take this chance just to go for the Roost, expecting him to want to go for the knockoff as he makes a nice play into the Electivire. And this turn right here was actually really, really scary. Just because I knew the switch out was very, very obvious. So if he had gone for like a low kick or a cross up or something, my Steelix would have been absolutely annihilated. And the main thing that I have to stop that Vivian would be gone. Uh, luckily for me, he just goes for the Thunder Punch. And he has Thunder Punch over Wild Charge for some reason. And now I know that he most likely is physical. So seeing as he switches out this turn, I'm thinking, okay, maybe he is choice in some way. Because normally, from what I remember, I let the Vire carry low kick or cross chop, so he could have definitely gone for those. Then again, he probably switched out because he knew I had sturdy, so I guess that wasn't too bad of a play. But then I switch into my Hariyama, thinking that he would go for like a fire punch or something, as he switches out into the sand slash. And then I switch out into my Zatu, thinking that he would go for the sleep powder with his Vivian, and we're just back to previous when it's sand slash against Zatu. So. I'm going to take this opportunity just to go for the Calm Mind, expecting him to not want to switch directly into Electivire or Zangoose. As he actually brings in the Dragology, I'm going to be able to knock that out, which is actually really, really good for me, because now my Garboder will be able to get up a layer of Toxic Spike. So this turn, thinking, okay, he's probably going to go for a Low Kick or a Cross Shop. I'm going to switch into my Garboder. He actually goes for the Thunder Punch, and judging from the damage, I'm thinking that he's definitely banned because that did way too much damage as I go for one layer of T-Spikes I'm gonna switch into my Smages thinking okay he's gonna rapid spin right <laughs> no another foolish foolish play on my part as I lose my Ms. Magius. so this is actually kind of bad for me because as I mentioned this Zangoose was checked by my Ms. Magius because I run enough speed to outspeed it and I do have foul play and now that I lost my Ms. Magius, this Zangoose has become an even bigger bigger threat to my team so I really really have to watch out for that thing so I bring in my Zatu and I'm gonna go for the calm mind just because I really lose nothing in doing so and again I'm pretty positive that he's not gonna switch out to Electivire plus with me having up one layer of T-Spikes the rapid spin was pretty obvious so this turn predicted him to switch out I go for the side shock as I'm able to get off a huge chunk of damage on the Vivian as he hits me up with a hurricane turns out that he's life orb which means he was more of an offensive quiver dance variant and then I get a crit of course on the second side shock so he brings in sock and I'm thinking okay he's gonna knock off the best thing on my team that I want to take knock off or even a possible stone edge is my Audino so I switch right into Audino and he goes for substitute oh my lord you guys do not know how scared I was. This literally terrified me to no end because you see my team, you see my team, close combat, close combat, earthquake, knock off close combat. This thing sweeps through my entire team if he has earthquake. And at this point I'm like, I lost, There's, I, I can't do anything against this sock behind a substitute. And just, I, th I thought it'd be banded. I, no, sub life orb. So I switches to my Garboder as he just goes for the knockoff. He does get the Rocky helmet, which I guess is kind of good. And this is where, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I was so, so, so thankful. Because it turns out that he does not have the Earthquake. And then I go for a layer of T-Spikes thinking, oh. He's going to knock me out anyways. Uh, that was really foolish of me because I should have definitely just gone for the Drain Punch. Seeing as I most likely would have been able to break his sub and then fake out with my Hariyama to finish him off. And because I don't have Bullet Punch on this Hariyama, I'm going to be forced to take 
the uh, Cole's combat damage as he brings in this giant ass threat known as Zangus. I really have no choice but to just fodder off Hariyama as I will be able to get a free switch into my Steelix which is in sturdy range so I lose nothing by just going straight for a heavy slam as he brings in this sand slash. I do a pretty nice chunk of damage and just expecting him to want to go for the earthquake I believe I just switch right into my Zatu. Oh no I bring my Audino. I guess I was predicting Rapid Spin as opposed to Earthquake. So that would make more sense. But he actually ends up going for the knockoff, which I'm really not worried about because, I mean, I don't know, does have a generator. So I can just go for a wish. I can go for a knockoff. I can really do anything I want to. And ultimately, I decided to go for the wish. And because I still have Steelix in sturdy range, on the off chance that he did close combat, I was hoping that I would be able to be brought back up to sturdy range with the wish. But it turns out that he goes for sword dance and then goes for the fire punch as my earthquake will bring him down to the point where... Toxic will be able to knock him out so his biggest threat was taken down by my Steelix which is really really great for me and right now this battle is really looking to be in my favor unless he pulls out some crazy double switches and crazy predictions with his banded Electivire then I really have nothing to worry about as I'm just gonna go for the wish after I believe he went for the earthquake and he ends up locking himself into low kick so I just switch right into my Zatu which of course does four times resist it and I'm in a position where I can just go for a side shock to be honest or I can even go for the roost but actually double switch just on the slight off chance that he wasn't banded and he did pull out the thunder punch so this turn I just switch into my Zatu predicting the earthquake or rapid spin although he really has no reason to rapid spin you don't really know what people are going to do nowadays as he gets a crit with a knockoff it doesn't really matter seeing as his turn I'm going to go for the side shock predicting him to bring in Electivire thinking that I would go for another roost and that basically seals the victory in my favor so yeah I did make some really some really bad and questionable plays uh, luckily though I was kind of able to recover and catch myself near the end and prevent Electivire from absolute uh, not Electivire sorry from Zangus uh I prevented Zangus from absolutely destroying my team and oh my that sock substitute sock oh my lord if he had earthquake the match was over right then and there thankfully he had ice punch and not earthquake and my Gerboder was able to uh, wear him wear him down to the point where my Hariyama could just really be foddered off to it for him to get knocked out by the a uh, life for recoil but yeah that was the game guys hopefully y'all did enjoy i definitely am gonna try out sub uh substitute life form sock with earthquake as opposed to ice punch because earthquake earthquake is great earthquake is great <laughs> uh if you guys did enjoy then make sure to hit the like button guys the support is greatly appreciated and with that being said i will see you all tomorrow so yeah uh later everybody